Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. It's Brenda. I'm so happy that you're here. If you're new here, thank you so much. We're going to do Caroline's uh, challenge for this week. We're on week 44. If you don't know what that is, uh, every Sunday she puts out five prompts. And you can gather those prompts and create anything that you want. Could be an art piece, a journal page, a card, tags, whatever it is that you would like to create, then you create that. And when you, if you're a part of her Facebook group, group sorry, <laughs> if you post to her page under this heading of her challenge, then she puts your name into a giveaway every week uh, to receive one of her digitals. How fun. And she has a lot of uh, digitals and they're beautiful. So week 44, uh, our prompts are wood, napkin, single word, mushroom, and fruit. All right, so... I, I have one of those um, antiquarian uh, books, sticker books, and so I have an apple here. I'm going to use that for my fruit. I have a napkin that I just cut down, and this is just uh, a music page that I folded in half and glued. It's nice and sturdy paper for a journaling card. Uh, my wood bits... And I have my word, which is also a wood. So, and then I have mushrooms. I have, I have all my lovely mushroom stickers in here. But I also have some mushroom stamps. So I might uh, incorporate those somehow as well. All right, so let's get started. So I hope you're all doing good. Good start to the week. It's been a good, I just can't believe it's November 1st already. Like, how crazy is that? So, thanks again to all of you who participated in my birthday month of giveaways. I mean, we gave a lot away this month. There was a lot of happy mail flying out of my house. Yeah, I think uh, 20 people just in the giveaways alone, and then the two big giveaways yesterday. So 22 all together. Like, how crazy is that? I just, that's just unbelievable. So you can tear around this if you want, cut it. Uh, use your uh, emery board if you want. I'm just going to use my scissors and cut around it. It's not going to be very precise. I don't mind if I have bits hanging off. Whoops, cutting into it. Of course. That's just how I roll. But that's all right. You can add napkin all around it. Like this, I guess it's going to be a journaling card. I could add some paper to the other side of it, which I might do. But um, I wasn't sure what I was doing. I just kind of gathered up some bits and then figured once I, once I start, then I'll figure out what I'm doing. It always seems to change. Doesn't it? <laughs> Whenever I do these challenges, I, I have one thing in mind, but then uh, it ends up something totally different. But And that's okay. That's allowed. I mean, it's your creation. You can, you can uh, make it anything you want. And if it changes direction uh, midway, well, all the better. Ugh, come on. Of course, you get on camera and then it decides it, that's when it's going to have issues. But, yeah. All right. So, oh, sorry, just a little bit here. Goodness. But these challenges are so quick and they're easy and they're, 
and they're fun. And if you don't have something, just pick something you think is closest to it and use that. Okay, I'll stop fiddling with it. Okay, so these wood bits, I just thought, hmm, I have some cheesecloth. Looks kind of blah. Let's see if I can, uh, this is just a piece of cheesecloth that I, I sit on um, book page or something and then I spritz it with water and then I just take my ink pad and I just go all over it. Come on. I just glued these together this morning. I just wanted to have something a little different than just one thing. Uh, turn it around. I'll probably cut that off a little bit because it's kind of thick and I don't like that. But I just wanted to give it a little bit of uh, texture or something underneath. But I can trim that off. So I'm going to do it like that. And if you have wood glue, use wood glue or your Fabri-Tac or whatever it is. I have my tacky glue and I've never had any issues with it. So I'm just going to use it. It's what I have. Use what you have, right? I just filled the glue so I I shouldn't have any issues with it. You can paint these if you want. You can do whatever you'd like with them. But just, I didn't put any glue underneath the cheesecloth because the glue on this should go right through it. But I'm just going to do a little bit of trimming here. Just because I don't, I didn't like the thick gob of it there. Stick it out a little. Yeah, that's okay. Well, let's let's grab a mushroom sticker. It was kind of chilly in the house this morning, so I had to put my thick uh, my thick sweater on just to take the chill off. And of course, then you get busy and. Then you really start getting warm. So, hmm, that might be all right. These stamps, the, or the stickers, have been cooperating lately, so I'm hoping, you, you know, you start the camera and then things go awry. There we go. Uh, let me, I better put a little bit of uh, glue down on it just so that it doesn't come up on me. And it doesn't hide the napkin, of course. There's lots of napkins. And, and then there's the mushroom. Well, I was going to stamp on those. I wonder if I still can. Just to give them some... Uh, a textured look. Let me just pop. Fabulous. I saw this word and I thought of all of you. Because you are all fabulous. So I have these. These are from Amazon. Um, they're just called... Uh, DIY cut out a number of stamps mm -hmm. for mushrooms. <laughs> so let me just get this tall one. 
They, they stamp very nice. Well, this is the only one I've used, this tall one. You can tell that the other ones haven't been touched yet, but I just want to make sure I... We'll see how it works. I haven't done it on wood before, so we'll see. Oh, yeah. And it got the mushroom there. And I'll just get the top and then pop that there. Yep, there we go. Just gives it a, a whole different look and it's not just plain wood then, right? Okay, so we'll turn it over. A little bit of glue there. But this is where I'm going to put the apple and I'm just going to trim around it because if you have these books then you know the uh, all of the pictures are outlined in the color that it's on like there's quite a bit of a big border so I'm just going to eliminate some of it because there is quite a bit Yeah, me as a fussy cutter takes a little bit. But my hand seems to be cooperating this morning, so I'm happy about that. It's not too straight, but it will uh, do the trick. And then it's getting it apart. <laughs> if it doesn't come apart, I'm just going to glue it all. Oh. Goodness, come on. And you know, when you don't want them to come apart, they come apart so easy. I see a little piece there ready to lift. Nope, sorry. Let me just grab my pokey tool here. Something tells me I should have cut it, uh, lifted a piece up first. Okay, we're not going to fight with it. I'm just going to put it down. And if it does happen to finally lift off, then I will just glue it. But that's okay. Put it on this side. And if it's too bumpy on that side, you can still write on it. It doesn't seem to be too bad, you know, so you'll still be able to write a little message on there if you'd like. Like, was that quick or what? Is that all of our words? I think so. Or all of our prompts. I'm just going to grab another little... Maybe another little mushroom. Just a little, I have a little skinny guy here. Mm. No, I don't think so. I think with the stamps and the stickers, the sticker on there, I think that's pretty good. And we're done. I'm just gonna round the corners. Should do it through the napkin, which is nice. And if you don't like the light of the napkin, then just add some ink to it. Give it a little more of a older look to it. Well-worn look. All right, so I think that's what the prompts. Let's grab them here. So we have our wood. 
we have a napkin, we have a single word, we have mushroom, and we have fruit. Beautiful. And there's another piece for our ever-growing journal. But let me just grab the journal. Oh, sorry, I need two hands. It's large. There we go. Our ever-growing journal. There's not too many weeks left. I mean, my goodness, it's going fast. But look at the size of this beauty. So we need to find either a pocket or a page. Mm. Here is just a paper clip. Oh, I don't think that's gonna go on that side. I need something to go on the opposite side of it. Whoops, that's out, so I'll have to fix that. But, <laughs> oh, there's no pages left back there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just can't get over the sheer size of, uh, of our journal. <laughs> well, maybe I'm going to pop it into the center. We'll put it over here because it's, uh, then I won't interfere with the wood. Grab up my little container here. Just do a gold one. Uh, oh, maybe not. Sorry. Got the pencil there. Here's a page. With the pink spritz, that, that looks good there. Kind of goes with it. So there we go. There is our week 44 Caroline's Craft Tree Challenge. I will post her links in the description box below. So if you haven't checked her out yet, please do. And um, just because we're on week 44 doesn't mean you can't start. You can start anytime. She has all the prompts listed so that you can start anytime you want. Okay, you can start with this week and carry on to the end and then do the next, the other ones from before if you want or not. You can do whatever ones you like. All right, thanks so much for hanging out. I appreciate you all so very much. You know I can't do this without you, and I always tell you how much I appreciate you. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye for now.